Yeah, this is Dave from CheapBooks.com playing World of Tanks. The tank I am playing is the Indian Panzer. This is a German Tier 8 medium tank, and the map is Cliff. Um, I've had this tank for a while. I only need one more game, and I'm done with it. And I'm going to uh, move on to the Leopard. I've uh, completed the research for the next tank. I do have 100 tanks, so it does take me a long time to uh, move up the tech trees, but I'm around tier 8 for almost every tank. Um, this is a, a good tank. When you've got it fully equipped, I use the highest penetrating guns. You can see I have the uh, the APCR um, ammo loaded, which I'm surprised that I did. You know, usually I take a chance at sniping at uh, those tanks climbing up the mountain, but I didn't do it in this game. I like to play in the middle of the map. You can see you don't want to go over that mound unless you got the bushes for cover. You want to stay low. Because there's the example right there. His gun was in the air because he's trying to crest over the top of a hill. And it, it caused him to die. So don't do it. Stay low and stay flat as much as possible. You can see that the enemy did not take up positions in the back here. They left it open. <coughs> uh, this tank, uh, you can see it turns very quickly. It aims very quickly like all German tanks do. Uh, it's got uh, a nice shape to the, the uh, turret armor. You get behind the rock while you're reloading and then I'm going to move forward to shoot. So I gotta take care of that guy. What that guy did to me is what I like to do to other people. I do that sort of thing all the time. Now the two tanks that I'm shooting at, the Centurion and the KV, they're not playing very bright. They don't know how to take up good positions. And it's making it very easy for me to take shots at them. And it led to the death of one of their tanks. You know, he was very exposed. And, the, you know, the KV-5 didn't take up a good position either. So we've got this rock to hide behind. And um, If you can hit their gun and knock out the gun, they can't shoot. And I used to do it all the time. Uh, if I'm a Tier 8 going up against Tier 10s, I usually aim for the gun with high explosive rounds. Uh, you can see that it's easy to advance, and they made themselves vulnerable. It's better to advance on the enemy and surprise them, rather than rather than have them do it to you. So, you don't want to sit and wait. Uh, the, the Indian Panzer has a lot of power, so moving up and down the hills, even in reverse, is going to work really well. It's very maneuverable. And I do love this tank. This is one of the tanks that I really fell in love with the more I played it. The other thing I learned, I didn't know you could do this, but you can actually... That was three kills. Where the FCM is, you can actually drive down that slope, which he was actually climbing. I did not use my repair kits. I have two of them, but I chose to save them instead. Um... The small repair kit is only 3,000 credits, so actually, I um, I do use, I, I don't advocate conserving, because you know they're cheap. It's the uh, larger repair kit, the 20,000 silver, that bothers me a little bit more. Uh, but whenever I can try to not use the repair kit, I don't use the repair kit. And sometimes what happens is, I use the repair kit when it's 75% or 90% repaired, uh, because I feel I'm about to die, you know, then I'll use it. But in that case, I didn't feel threatened enough to use a repair kit. Ready to fire. Now you'll notice you can use the auto aim. You can keep on driving and navigating through the buildings to chase that guy. And I got a nice shot on that guy. I the and I changed direction. I was going behind the house in one way, and then I switched to the other. And I keep my frontal armor pointed towards him at all times. Got four kills. He's dead. That's five kills. It's 
score is 12 to 7. If you want more kills, you got to hunt the enemy down. Don't wait for them to come to you. It doesn't matter how many people are in the game. I had a video on, on I believe it was Kharkov, where the last enemy was all the way on the other side of the map, and I, I drove all the way to the other side of the map, and uh, my allies didn't get there before me, but we ended up capping right when I got there, but I would have killed him, and I had to cross the entire map to do that. So I definitely recommend it. I've got other games where I ran across a map and got kills. That's an example of where the auto-aim can fail very easily. I could have had another kill. Uh, but I screwed it up. I, I uh, should have uh, done that properly. I was a little bit too excited and I mismanaged the slope. But the slope was a little bit too steep for the gun to be able to hit that guy. It's very difficult to um, to balance the gun. You, the good thing about the auto-aim is that when you crest over a hill, your gun bounces around a lot. So when you use the auto-aim, it prevents the gun from bouncing as much because it locks on immediately. So your gun isn't going to be in a weird position when you when you when as if you're using the sharpshooter mode. Okay, so um, that's the uh, Indian Panzer. It's a German Tier 8 medium tank. I got five kills. The map is Cliff. If you have any questions or comments, please post below.